Hello and welcome to Software Expert. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create an appointment booking form in Wordface. We will be using a free plugin to create this form and then we can display that form on any page using any page builder. And actually, the project is to redesign this website and give it a modern touch. I have done most of the part in my previous video in which I showed you that how you can set up the Love Care Wordface theme and then how you can import its demo content. And in that theme, we have this default booking form. But in this whole website, we have this form with first name, last name, and these date figures, and so on. So I have to design this same form in the new website, okay? So let's do it together. The best thing is we need a form plugin. And there are multiple form plugins, and I have discussed a few of them in my previous videos. The one that we're going to use in this video is Formulator, which is the best free form plugin. So let's go to plugins, add new, and here we'll search for Formulator. And this is the plugin, so Formulator, contact form, payment form and so on, just install and activate it. By the way, in the previous videos, I have created a multi-step payment form using this plugin, so you can watch that video as well. Let's activate it. And plugin activated. And if you are using any other form plugins like contact form 7, you can import your forms from contact form 7 to Formulator, okay? But I'll do it later on. Once you activate this plugin, you will see a new menu here, Formulator, just go there. And this is the dashboard, here we don't have any active modules and form submissions. You can learn more about this plugin and you can explore this. Using this plugin you can create quizzes, you can also see your form submissions, you can create folds and so on. So let's try creating a form, so we will click on this create form. Then we can choose a blank template, contact us, code repaste and all of these. Let's go with the blank template for now and we will continue it. I'll give it a name, so let's say appointment form. And this will open up the form builder where we can insert fields from here or we can just click here. And now you can see there are a number of fields that are available for free. Even we have the file upload, we have hidden fields, page break, HTML, recapture and so on. And the only thing in the flow version is this e-signature. So if you need electronic signature, you can upgrade to the flow version, okay? So here you can see we need first name, last name and then date of birth, phone number and email. So let's add them one by one. I'll click name. And you can also add multiple fields at the same time, okay? So we also need email field and phone number. And we also need a date picker for date of birth, okay? So we will select it. And then we'll insert fields. And now we can customize a specific field. So let's say I want to customize the name. So I'll just click on it. We'll edit field. And if you want to only keep the single name, you can select this one. Or you can switch to multiple. And here you can see prefix, so Mr. or Mrs and then first name middle name last name i don't need these two i only need first name and last name okay then under settings you can make it optional or required so i'll make this required and also the last name is required you can display an error message like this last name is required if someone missed this field okay and under layout you can choose the default or you can customize your own then under styling you can give it a specific css class and you can change the styling by using custom css codes okay and under visibility tab you can add condition on this field if you want to show this field after filling out some fields and so on okay you can check these rules by watching my previous videos let's click apply and now on the name field you see the asterisk which indicates that this field is required okay let's do the same for the email you can change the field label in the placeholder and you can also write description for a field then under settings we will make this required you can even validate the email field and so on let's click apply we also need the phone number to be required, so edit field, settings, required, and you can validate that by a national number, international or character limit, okay, apply, and for the date, instead of this label, we will write date of birth, you can also change the placeholder, you can change the date format, and so on, and you can change the type to calendar, drop down, or text input, okay, this will be dependent on you. If you want to hide the calendar icon, you can choose hide here. And you can also set limits for this field, okay? So if you want to pick only specific dates, you can set a limit for that, like start date, end date, and all days, you can select only the working days here. And apply. So we added these fields, now we need address. And we also need this type of patient. I'll just copy this text. And let's add address first. So we have this address field here. I'll insert it. And now you can see the address is also very comprehensive and here you can enable the fields that you need. I need address. I don't need apartment. Here you can see we only need the street address, city, state and zip code. Okay, let's enable the zip code as well. 
this build is also required so we'll go to settings we'll make it required and the zip code is also required and if you want to add a map you can use geolocation which is available in the pro version okay let's apply it and the next thing we need is those check boxes okay so for that i'll use radio buttons and insert field and for the label i'll paste the text okay now these are the options so in the first i'll use this one so basically this is the label and these are the two options okay and we will go to settings and we'll make it required by the way you can also set calculation for this field okay i have discussed this in my previous videos in which we took dynamic payments by the user choice okay and this is fine so we will apply it and that's it then we have this thing we will add it in the same way or we can just duplicate this field okay i'll click it we'll duplicate and we'll open it i'll just change the text i'll click apply what else we need this text area we also need the desired date and time so i'll insert a field text area and instead of label i'll put their text okay i think describe problem and this is the placeholder so i'll write something like this again this is required and if you enable the rich text editor here then people will be able to stylize their text by making them bold data like and icon list and so on let's leave this for now and apply the last thing we need is the date and time okay what is the date picker what is the time and in that field for the date i write desired date and uh, let's make it required this is the time picker so you will just require it and you can in and you can do further settings for these fields i am not going in much detail just to make this video short and that's it this is our form with all the required fields now let's scroll down and this is send message so this is basically the submit button okay like this and instead of this i'll write submit okay apply and that's it this is our form now and if you want to change the appearance like the look of the form you can go to appearance tab this is the default one this is the flat bold material like this and none so now you can design this in your own way here okay for now i'll choose flat and this is the layout so i'll make automatic and these are the default colors the default fonts and the form container if you want to make changes to them you can just switch to custom and you can give color to any form element if you want to change the info text color you can change the colors here okay this is the background color the placeholder color text color so everything is in much detail in this plugin you can visit its page and you can learn more about this plugin okay and then under behavior you can decide where to take the form so if you want to only display a thank you message you can write your message here you can change this message you can also redirect user to a specific page or you can just hide the form okay for now this message is fine and this will disappear after five seconds so that's okay and under method we make sure to choose ajax because we don't want the page to reload okay and this is the pdf so i have discussed this in a previous video by showing you a free plugin where you can convert this form entries into a pdf and you can print certificates and so on and the last thing i want to find out is the email notification so here you can write your email where you want to receive these form entries okay this is very simple and that's it for now in the end we will just publish this form and this will give us a short code that we can display on any page using any page builder i'll just copy it and then i can put it in elementor breezy builder or gutenberg for this website and most of the website i use elementor so let's go to pages and edit any page with elementor i want to display this form on the home page for now okay so i'll edit this and this is the website we designed in the last video okay scroll down and this was the previous appointment section i'll create a new one so let's add a container i'll choose this single out for now and we'll give this some width okay like this and let's also change this background to white okay let's give this some padding or margin we will just need to add short code here so let's search for short code we'll drag it and we'll paste that short code and that's it this is our form let's publish this page to show you live so this is our form first name last name email phone date of birth and so on and this is our time okay and if i miss any field like this this will display the required message okay just like these now if you are noticing these fields are very lengthy and 
Okay, now so the form is looking very long. Okay, so let's fix this, and I think this will work like this. Okay, so this is how you can make multiple fields at one row. Then for this, we will drag it here in the desired date and time. So, and then I'll update it, and let's check again. And there we have the form. So first name, last name, email, phone, and all the fields. This is not looking good because of this address, but we can move this field down here and this will look okay. And again, you can make changes to these colors and also to the label colors and so on. So this was how you can create a booking or a form in form using WorldFace and using the form editor form plugin. And I have discussed this form plugin in my previous video to generate PDFs and also to create multi-step payment forms and so on. So to learn more about Wallface and Elementor, you can visit my channel. And still, if you have any questions about this video, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.